Now, Russia says it's launched a criminal case over attacks in the country's Bel Belgorod region, just north of the Ukrainian city of Kharkiv. Several injuries have been reported and villages have been evacuated after coming under artillery fire. Well, two Russian paramilitary groups have claimed responsibility for the attacks. The Kremlin has continued to blame Ukraine. Our Russia editor Steve Rosenberg is covering the story from Moscow. It's hard to know exactly what's happening right now in Belgorod region. The local authorities have imposed a counter-terrorism regime, which gives them wide powers to clamp down on communications and also people's movements. But this morning, the regional governor uh, issued uh, an update on social media. Vyacheslav Gladkov announced that Russian security forces were continuing what he referred to as the mopping up operation following yesterday's attack by what Mr. Gladkov calls a sabotage group. And he advised local residents who had left their homes to, to, to avoid the fighting not to go back just yet. In other words, this isn't over yet. What happened on Monday appears to have been the largest cross-border incursion from Ukraine since Russia launched its full-scale invasion of the country 15 months ago. Let me show you what the Russian papers are saying this morning about it. To be honest, I had to search hard in the government paper, Rasiska Gazeta, to find the story. I eventually found a little bit about it, uh, buried in another story under a different headline. Here's another staunchly pro-Kremlin paper, comes from Moscow Pravda, also not much in the paper about it, just quoting uh, President Putin's spokesman there, saying that efforts are underway to eject the group uh, from Russian territory and to destroy it. But the story is front page news in the business daily Kommersant. The caption under the photograph says, Russian-Ukrainian saboteurs invaded Belgorod region on armoured vehicles. Well, that's our Russia editor, Steve Rosenberg, giving us an update on how this is being covered in the Russian media. I want to cross live now to our journalist at BBC Russian, Sergei Goryashko. And Sergei, how serious an incursion was this for the Russians? was pretty serious one and uh, as Steve has already mentioned probably the most extensive uh, Ukrainian attack on the Russian territory since uh, the full-scale invasion started in February 2022 however Russian authorities are not uh, uh, as reacting as probably could be expected by some observers uh, Putin didn't uh, uh, pay much attention to this attack uh, on his today's speech in Kremlin where he was uh, delivering uh, medals uh, to uh, to some uh, to some people and uh, uh, so the reaction from the Kremlin has not been uh, that uh, serious yet uh, however the Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov told that uh, Russian authorities are concerned with this attack we also know that uh, something like hundreds of people uh, were evacuated from those uh, villages where uh, which which has been attacked uh, in uh, the last 24 hours in the Belgrade region uh, it is not yet confirmed officially by uh, the local authorities Sergey I'm not expecting you to know about this but in the last minute or so I've just been reading some news coming into us and it looks as if according to the Russian defense ministry the remnants of the units that it's blamed for Monday's cross-border attack from Ukraine on Belgorod uh, have been forced back into Ukrainian territory. Now, one always knows not to take everything the Russian Defense Ministry says at face value, but this was part of its daily briefing. Uh, uh, they said that more than 70 attackers have been killed, and it's important again to reiterate that Reuters and the BBC are able to verify this report, but it's interesting they're saying this at this point. Uh, yes, so they waited uh, something like 24 hours before uh, delivering official comments on uh, this uh, attack, on this uh, attempt of invading a couple of villages in Belgrade region near the Ukrainian border. Uh, these reports, uh, as you've mentioned, are not yet uh, confirmed uh, independently. And uh, uh, just now we are receiving lines uh, that according to some uh, uh, some local and uh, media observing the uh, situation on the front line that um, uh, some more attacks are ongoing now uh, but uh, the Belgrade governor Vyacheslav Gladkov denies that uh, there are any more uh, Ukrainian uh, soldiers uh, on the ground they, he says that they were just attacks of the artillery and uh, Russian military is conducting a counter-offensive operation 
Sergei Goryashko, it's always good to get you on the programme to give us a little bit of insight and context into what's been happening uh, in Russia. So thank you once again.